All right, guys, this is Cross, oh, and I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a little sniper tutorial on quick scoping, and uh, it'll pretty much teach you guys a little bit on how I get clips like this. Um, just something to kind of help you out a bit. I'll go over um, just a simple quick scope and really what you need to pay attention to in order to get your shot down and just be as accurate as you can. Uh, Modern Warfare 2 is going to be fairly easy. Um, I don't really feel like covering Black Ops. It's pretty much going to be the same thing. And maybe if Modern Warfare 3 has any changes, I'll go over that as well. Anyway, let's hop right into it with part one. All right, so here we are um, on Terminal, probably one of my favorite maps. Actually, it is my favorite map. And what I'm going to teach you guys is pretty much knowing how to learn how to quickscope. This is going to be um, not really a horribly in-depth tutorial, just really the basics of what you guys need to learn in order to quickscope. I'm going to use this wall here. Since it's black, you can actually see these little white uh, four markers on my screen. And you notice how they're expanding and contracting as long as I'm moving. They bounce back and forth. This is something you need to pay attention to. I've noticed a lot of players who don't notice this when they first start out and when they finally learn, it's kind of a hard habit to break. Um, essentially with quick scoping, it's not just zooming in and then firing. That's not how this works. What you need to pay attention to are these four crosshairs the most. Um, your bullet is gonna go right into the center of those crosshairs right where it's pointing at right now. That's why I'm saying steady aim has no effect on where your bullet goes as long as you scope in all the way. Um, now, the reason why these crosshairs are so important, if you guys do not stop moving left and right, strafing, or whatever you're doing, and then you shoot, your bullet is not going to go 100% straight. It's not going to be accurate. Um, that's kind of what I wanted to teach you with this. I'm going to start over here, and I'm going to show you guys a quick example. Um, you're going to want to learn how to time your shots to where you can hit the same spot every time without um, doing something, I'll show you with the last bullet, something like that. See, I didn't scope in fully and that's why my shot ended up over here instead of with the other grouping. That's why learning your timing down is pretty much the second part to it. Um, so I added on the screen here is this little crosshair. Um, the green circle pretty much shows you where um, I'm, I'm just going to say it's a pretty decent safe zone. You want to try to get your enemy into that area at least before you try to zoom in and quick scope them. Otherwise, you're going to have to drag across the map and try to get them in the crosshairs you're passing by, and it's a little bit more difficult. Uh, it's really simple to center your enemy in your, in your crosshairs, however you are, plant your feet, and then scope in. Um, as you can see here, you have that yellow circle. That's pretty much how uh, where your crosshairs will be, those little four markers will be when you have steady aim on. Um, not a whole lot of difference because when you're moving around, they're about kind of the same. They're as large, if not a little bit smaller. Now, the importance of this is that little red crosshair in the middle, that circle, and then there's a little red dot. Hopefully you'll be able to see it, but that's where this crosshair goes. No matter what you guys do, no matter what animation on the screen is, that's where your bullet is going to hit no matter what whenever you zoom in. And that's what quickscoping is really based on. You need to learn how to center that dot on the enemy at all times. That way you can hit the same spot over and over every time repeatedly. Um, I'm going to go over to this a little bit when you guys haven't noticed. I took that little crosshair off the screen so you could see it. But I'm going to zoom in and then you're going to notice a little bit of wiggle on the scope. You see how it bobbles? So if you're quick scoping from, I don't know, across the map or something like that, it's going to be a lot harder to get a nicer grouping. So you're going to see it's going to spread around a little bit. So that's why I encourage hard scoping. Don't always try to quick scope every shot. Quick scoping is extremely effective at medium to close range. Now, as far as long range, it can be all right, but you just want to take an extra half a second on your shot and you'll probably hit start being more accurate of a sniper if you do so. Before I go guys, I wanted to show you this little uh, reload trick if you guys didn't know about it already, but it's gonna help you out a little bit. You notice how I have one bullet left, I'm gonna shoot, and then you're gonna watch the reload, it's kinda slow, it takes the clip out, and then you know I finally have my clips. But it works if you have one bullet left in your clip, and then what you're going to do is you're going to shoot, and then as soon as that clip comes out, press YY. And you notice I skipped the entire reload animation and I can continue shooting at whatever rate I want. Now, that's just something to give you a little bit of advantage on. It doesn't work if you have more than one bullet in because you can click reload and then you do that and it just goes back to having three bullets in. You never took the clip out completely, so don't do that. Otherwise, you will have an epic fail and probably get raped. Anyway, um, I'm going to cut this off with uh, the clip from Skid Row. I'm going to put that overlay on it again. 
and you guys can see it from my perspective of knowing where the center of your screen is and just getting that down and memorizing it it'll help you out tremendously if I left anything out in this tutorial guys leave a comment down below on what I did and I'll try to get back to you hopefully you guys enjoyed it anyway guys here's the clip this is cross and I'm out well, I was going pretty good here at the beginning Yep, yeah, exactly. Seriously, no, I'm kidding. I was going perfectly good. I was actually going darn tasty. And then I knife phase, and now it's like my hands just don't work anymore. Yep, that was Collateral hit marker! Dude, I said collateral hit marker! Yeah, I'm looking at it.